No bond. That is the ruling for the four suspects in the torture video of a teenager with special needs. CBS 2 Sandra, actually Suzanne Lemon Yo was at their first court appearance and joins us live. Suzanne? Erica, that no bond announcement from the judge drew gasps from that courtroom. In court, the prosecutor explained how the four defendants made the teen with special needs drink from a toilet. He was cut with a knife and punched. Then one of the young men threatened to kill him. During the course of the attack, the defendant Hill communicates with the victim's mother and demands $300 ransom in exchange for getting her son back. Judge Maria Curiacos Cecil told Tessa Faye Cooper in particular, who has a disabled brother, where was the sense of decency when the victim's mother reached out? Cooper's brother told us his brother was high on drugs when all of this happened. Some of the video is fake. Cause like they got videos that they ran in while they were still on Facebook, you feel me? They got videos that police running in while they still on Facebook. They got all type of videos. No family appeared in court for Jordan Hill, who knew the victim. They attended an alternative high school together. Defendant Hill uses a knife to cut a chunk of the victim's hair, causing a laceration to the victim's head. Defendant Hill also stabs the victim in the left forearm. The grandmother of Brittany and Tanisha Covington told reporters when she left court. I didn't raise him like that. Now, when announcing that there was going to be no bond, the judge told each of the four defendants, I find each of you a danger to yourself and society. Live at the Leighton Criminal Courts building, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Suzanne, thank you.